What's going on guys, Danny Lanier Lawn Care. Today I wanna to talk to you about the sag or the squat on your vehicle whenever you are pulling a trailer with a heavy load and such of that and what I did about taking care of the sag I had on my vehicle. So let's jump into to this video. All right guys, so uh, I did a lot of research and as you know, I am huge into research and so there's uh, quite a few things on the market. There's uh, the, the Sumo Springs, the Timberin uh, Suspension SES or whatever it's, you know, kind of like the Sumo Springs. Then there's uh, the airbag kits you can get, then there's the Road Active Suspension and uh, so all the research I was doing, I was looking at all these lawn care forums and everybody was talking about the Sumo Springs and the Timberins. But the one thing that everybody kept talking about was that when they were not towing, the ride got rougher. So I, I definitely did not want that by any means. So I automatically started looking elsewhere. And uh, well, I automatically started going into uh, airbags and i had a buddy he told me he said uh there's a, a group called half ton haulers uh, on facebook go join there and see you know what they've got going on and you know uh, get some ideas from them so i joined this group and let me tell you this group these guys are pulling these rvs that are you know i mean just crazy but anyway uh <clears throat> so these guys are pulling these rvs and what a lot of these people recommended was if if they didn't have the weight distribution hitch which i felt just pulling a lawn care trailer i personally you know didn't need uh a lot of these guys were recommending this ras and i kept seeing this ras over and over again and uh i was like okay what is this ras thing so finally somebody had typed it out and what it came to is road active suspension so what this is, is this is almost like a helper spring and I'll show you a little bit about it here in a second. But I wanna tell you why I chose this over airbags. Um, so I was looking into the airbag thing as well and a lot of people were talking about airbags. You had to either run them together to where uh, you aired them both up at the same time um, or you had to air them up separately uh, and when you went around turns that you would get body roll still uh, and what was uh, you needed a you had to air them down whenever you weren't using them or the ride got real rough so you know once again uh, so it came to this uh, road active suspension thing so I got to looking into this and pretty much, like I said, what it is, is it's almost like a helper spring. So now hopefully you can see this. So what this is, is this comes already assembled exactly the way you need it. All you have to do, which in this video, you will see the installation as well, but all you have to do is throw this over the rear of your leaf spring, throw it under, well, put it under the uh, you know leaf spring in the front part, and then make your adjustment here at the spring. Now you've got a standard duty and then you've got a heavy duty addition of this spring or of this you know, suspension thing that you can get. So there's a couple different adjustments you can do on this. It comes with a couple different discs. So you got a one millimeter disc, you got a two millimeter disc, uh, depending on how much squat you're getting, you can uh, adjust it, you know, lower or higher. Or you can actually put both this together and go up to three millimeters uh, gap on in between these springs if you really wanted to get crazy with it. Now, I got the heavy duty model for my GMC Sierra and I just set it to the one millimeter gap. Now they do say that if you put this on your vehicle, uh, it is going to adjust your rod height by anywhere from a half inch to an inch and a half in the back, depending on, well there's a couple different variants to this, but depending on how new or old your suspension is, and it's also going to depend on how much uh, gap you set 
on this active suspension kit on your vehicle as well. So I only set this to the one millimeter gap and by doing that, I raised the rear of my truck three quarters of an inch. So I do have all the measurements. I'll go over them with you in a second. This kit is made in uh, the USA. So it's, you know, that was another great feature about this kit. Now I will tell you at the making of this video as of right now, I have had this kit on my truck, my personal truck, for uh, probably about 250 miles, if not closer to 300 miles so far. And the great thing I do like about this, and you can believe this or not, it is actually crazy and it blew my mind, is my ride of my truck actually got better. Yes, I, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but it actually got better. When I backed out of my driveway, which has a pretty good little you know, hump there. I, I, instead of having a regular driveway curb, uh, I call it an actual curb because whoever put it in, just anyway. Uh, so when I pulled out and I hit that, I was like, there's no way. So I went down to our street and, uh, well, I got to the end of our street and I turned on uh, the other street and I got going down it because it is very bumpy and it usually just bounce, bounce, bounce all over the place. And once again, I couldn't believe it actually improved the ride quality of my vehicle. It blew my mind. And still, as of right now, it has, and I will promise you it is crazy to me, that how it improved the ride quality. But I guess in a way, when you think about how this works, it, it makes sense. But at the time, it really did, it, it just blew my mind. So uh, another thing that I really noticed was when I went started turning, when I would uh, make a left turn or a right turn, or I would uh, you know go, uh, go around like a, a turn down here at the end of our street when I would take my son to school or something. It's, uh, it just curves around like a 90 degree turn. But I would, you know, I would do it at, I don't know, seven miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. And you'd get that, you know, you'd turn and that body roll you'd get. I, I lost that. So uh, this not only helped with the squat of my truck, the uh, body roll, as well of going around turns and stuff and made it more stable but it also helped with the ride quality so uh if i wanted to now i'm going to give you the numbers here we're going to go over before the sag uh i had on my truck with without the truck or without the trailer uh with the trailer and with the trailer loaded um all three with uh without the road active suspension and with the road active suspension. And then uh, after all of this, well, you'll be able to watch the install of this. And uh, then that will be the, you know, the end of the video. So uh, if you do purchase this, well, you can always come back to this video and watch the install because let me tell you, it's, it's really quick, easy and simple. You can do it in less than 45 minutes. Actually taking the tires off are probably gonna take you longer than putting this product on your vehicle. All right, so before installation of my road active suspension, uh, my truck sag was at Stock height, 37 and three quarter is what I was at. With the trailer on there, it dropped me down to 37 and an eighth, probably a little lower than that. Um, loaded, I was at 35 and five eighths. And then, uh, then we go to after installation here. <clears throat> Put me up to 38 and a half. Uh, once again, raised me three quarters of an inch. Trailer only. 38 and 3 eighths only dropped me 3 eighths of an inch when I put my trailer on. Loaded 36 and 5 eighths. Uh, here's your before, here's your after numbers. So after everything was completely said and done, stock 37 3 quarters. Once again, we raised 3 quarters of an inch using this kit. Trailer only, we were at 37 and an eighth. 
width after installation we went to 38 and 3 8 so we raised an inch and a quarter uh, then loaded 35 and 5 8 loaded uh, after 36 and 5 8 so we stayed up an inch after installation is this kit worth it that's up to you is it worth it to me absolutely the numbers don't lie this is only with the 25 percent disc so i could only imagine if you're towing a dump trailer or something with a half ton a 12 foot or something like that uh, with your half ton pickup and you you're doing it all the time uh, then you're probably going to want to use that second disc the two millimeter which is going to give you the 40 percent more capacity on this uh, for the load bearing and your numbers are going to probably go up. So 25% more helped me tremendously. And once again, it did exactly what I needed it to do. Whenever I actually hit the bumps now, I don't have the back end bouncing all over the place and the front end coming up. My front end's actually to the road better which is what you want. So you got a couple different warranty options here. Um, not sure if you can see this, but if you buy this, you do get a free five year warranty. What the warranty does do, you do not have to have a dealer install this for the warranty, okay? Uh, you do not have to, it don't require a, mess, a special maintenance schedule. Once you install this, you, there's, there's nothing else you have to do. It's installed. You don't ever have to touch it unless you really want to either uh, lower that because you went to the two millimeter or you want to raise it to get you know the maximum out of it. Um, so that's, that's it, S set and forget. Uh, <clears throat> so with this warranty, it replaces any of the uh, active suspension parts or components that are defective. Um, you're responsible for the shipping of that and you are responsible for any labor cost of that if you paid somebody to put that on for you. And that is five years from the date of purchase and it's included with the price. Now, if you upgrade for $89, okay, 89 bucks, this is what you get with that. Uh, once again, no dealer inst installations required, no special maintenance, full kit replacement. Something happens, they send you a full kit replacement. Okay, not just the part, they send you the full kit uh, in case of a defective or broken part. Um, they, active suspension, is responsible for the shipping cost of that. Road active is responsible for the incurred labor of that if you had somebody put that on up to $200. Uh, and it is a lifetime warranty from the date of purchase. It's not just a five year warranty, it is lifetime. So for extra 90 bucks, is it worth it to you? That's the question you have to ask yourself. So I uh, hope all this answered any questions you had. I know I rambled and jumbled, but I wanted to uh, kind of get straight to the point, but at the same time, be able to let you know my personal experience with this product and let you know uh, everything about it that you know uh, you probably would want to know about it without having to you know do ask questions or whatever but if there is something i missed please feel free to comment down below and ask because if i don't know well maybe somebody from mode active suspension can answer that question for you so let's jump into the install video and uh, show you how easy this is to install. And then we will go from there. All right guys, so you know, what you're seeing is what I'm seeing for the very first time. Uh, load and road handling made easy. Plus another huge benefit to this was it is made in the USA. So uh, this works with the existing leaf springs. Um, it absorbs and uh, dissipates your load force energy giving you the ability to strengthen your rear suspension without ever compromising ride quality and a lot of people on the forums said that this thing rode actually better than it did before they installed this so uh let's pull this out and now this is the you know hd Ta -da! 
pretty self-explanatory good instructions i'm told and they come pretty much pre-assembled so so this comes with two discs and if you notice one is thicker than the other hopefully and uh so yeah maybe you can tell that one's one millimeter one's two millimeters thick and so uh this is so you can adjust these springs whenever to you know how much depending on how much sag you've got i guess but uh these are pretty much pre you know put together all you got to do is throw them on do some adjustments and go from there pretty simplified look at how heavy duty these things look oh my god all right first thing we want to do is of course uh, you're going to be jacking up the rear end of the truck so we're going to want to uh chalk the front wheels both of them so you know you don't get no roll for now this is all wheel drive but uh still chalk the front wheels so you get no roll all right next we're going to remove our center caps and we're just going to uh barely loosen our lug nuts just to, uh, just enough to where we can get them on or off with the wheel uh what's everything up in the air all right so now with our front wheels chopped our lug nuts are a little loose we're going to go to the center of our rear diff and we are going to jack up from that to get our wheels off the ground here so make sure your jack is a good capacity in order to uh, do this So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our jack stands under the front eyelet of our leaf springs on both sides. So let's do that. All right, now that we have that done, we will remove the wheels. Now that that's done, we want to lower our jack and uh make sure that our jack stands are going to fall in place where they need to be and then we just want to lower our jack enough to get the tension off of the suspension here and uh then we want to jack it up just a little they say a half inch just so if the jack stands do fail you've still got something to uh keep you from getting squashed All right, so we're just double checking our stands to make sure they are in the proper places here and they are holding so we're looking pretty good <clears throat> we will drop the jack down a little more here just to get where we need Because they say you want to release the tension off of that rear end, which, goodness gracious. All right, we are, we got the tension off, and now we are good. <clears throat> we got the jack back up there where it needs to be. Let's install some active suspension. All right, so now that we got that done, pretty much this is... <clears throat> Both sides are going to be the same. We're just going to set this up here just like this. And this eye right here, this hook, is going to hook to the top and go over our suspension up here. So we're going to do this up here. And then we are going to do the hooky like that. All right. And then we want to make sure it's pretty centered on that which we are pretty centered now all right and then uh then you've got this okay now once we've got this we are going to loosen this nut here they say this nut just comes hand tight so we will yeah it literally comes hand tight so we're going to take it off and we are going to pull this out 
and then it drops down. Now, as you can tell, we don't have enough umph here to uh, quite get it <clears throat> down to where we need to be. So we've got to loosen this a little more, which is no problemo. <clears throat> we will grab that and uh, well, Let's pull this back off here. Seems like the easier way to do it. Let's pull it back off and then uh, loosen this out some more. So once you turn this, then this will give you what you need in order to get there. So we'll loosen this pretty far. All right, so now we're going to stick our pin back through here so let's lift this up here like so go through there this back on like so and through then we will put this nylon nut back on all right so now that we got that you need to make sure that this is directly under the spring. This is a very important part of this because you can go a little lower and there is a uh, notch there that this could hang on. You do not want that hanging on that, that lip. You want this directly under the leaf spring here. So uh, with this, I, this is a uh, HW10 uh, on one side and then this is a 19 millimeter on the uh, nut side so we're going to now tighten this up that piece there that spacer there you go so tighten that all right so now that we got this we have a 14 millimeter for this side right here and then it says a 24 millimeter for up top, but uh, I don't have a 24 or so, but I do have a 15 16 um, which is what you would use if you do not have that. And uh, so then we are going to now tighten this, and this is where these two discs or these two coins come into play uh, for your thickness. Now this is the heavy duty model, so I'm just going to use the, the uh, one millimeter thickness. And what you want to do is you see how this won't go in any of these. You just want to tighten this, which we're going to do until this fits in between these coils. And then if you wanted to, you know, if you're hauling a heavier load, uh, then you could use the two millimeter disc and set it to that. So what this does is this is pretty much, uh, you know, your every vehicle has its own uh, payload standards. So depending on what you're hauling if you're hauling heavier stuff all the time rv something like that then you're probably going to want to use that two millimeter uh for what i'm doing lawn care i'm just going to use the one millimeter and i think that's going to be totally fine so uh the next thing we want to do is once we get this a little tight uh or a little you know snug is we want to make sure that this is completely centered this is centered also on both sides and you know once again this eye bolt up here is centered so let's do that now all right so what we're doing here is we are now tightening tightening this back onto this rod here and so uh you'll feel it start getting tighter as it screws back on to that rod and then once we start getting a little snug which we are starting to get right now then i will make sure that this is completely centered which we are not on that so we want to make sure this is centered up here so i'm going to go back and i'm going to loosen this a little bit because i need this to be centered so put this back on here loosen it some get it centered all right now i should be able to move it All right, so now we are centered on that. 
and we want to make sure we are pretty centered here which seems like you can't be too bad off on this all right pretty good on that as well now we can start tightening this and get our tightness going so let's put this back on here uh, put this back on start tightening now once you start feeling this tension come on of course we want to double triple check we're still good up here so good on that now it's starting to tighten so now we want to uh wait for our coils here to start expanding that's when we'll start using our coin to see where we are at on that so back to uh back to turning Which once it starts tightening, you can pretty much let go of that, it looks like. And it ain't doing nothing, so. Alright, now we're starting to get some, some opening going on. So now you can start taking your one millimeter thing. And see, we still don't have it there. So let's uh, go some more. Grab our coin. See where we're at. We're starting to get there. Starting to get there. So now it's just to where now it's just to where that fits in there pretty nice probably back it off a little bit here see what happens pretty good all right All right, so now that we have the correct one millimeter thickness between our spring here, now we are going to take these and we are going to move them right up against this spring. Just like that. And we're going to move this one as well. And then we are going to tighten these and just make sure that they are tight once you get them tight and jammed up against the thing there then you are completely done with the install of one side and then do the other one and just like that double check our disc we're golden Ta-da, one side completely done. Let's go to the other side, we'll fast forward it.
it's done. All right, now we're ready to jack the truck back up and put our wheels back on. guys so that's going to do it for this video don't forget to like comment subscribe hopefully you like that it was very quick very easy install once i figured out that one side then it just made the other side snappy so uh once again you don't ever have to readjust anything on this you set it forget it and uh you know if you're if you're pulling dump trailers or something like that 2500 trucks guys if you got squat any little bit whatsoever this still helps this helps with with 2500s there's people that's running uh i mean all kinds of these 2500 3500 trucks that are still using this product so don't think just because you don't have a half ton truck uh that you know you this ain't for you because this will work with a lot of your vehicles uh, regardless so go check it out see if it's something like i said that's right for you very easy to install very easy to just put on never have to worry about again and once again not only do you, you is it going to help with the squat and the sag of your vehicle but it's going to improve the ride quality of your vehicle as well so i'm danny don't forget to like comment subscribe thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next one I'm in here.